Uh, there have been some malicious rumours circulating, Megan, about you misleading the court about your involvement in the unauthorised biography of you and Prince Harry. No, it doesn't look good. Uh, rumours that were somewhat validated when you apologised for misleading the court about information supplied to Omid Scooby and Carolyn Durant, the authors of Finding Freedom. Look, I, I was unaware because of my pregnancy, right? And because of the overall love I have for people, you know? So therefore I forgot to mention that Jason did provide some details to the authors, you know, but only as, you know, only in his capacity as uh, communications secretary. Yeah, it wasn't us. It was one of our dim-witted minions. Uh, which leads us nicely onto a question from Maureen Remington from Leamington Spa, who says, Oh, I bet it's nice to have a communications secretary, but still be able to claim victimhood. Yeah, well, this will be you, Maureen Remington from Leamington Spa. Well, I mean, what can I say? Oh, no. Well, Skaggs, people want to be friends with me. You know? you know, I never asked for this following, right? You know, I never sought to be worshipped. It just kind of happened, didn't it, Harry? It just kind of happened. I feel more famous since I met Meg. <laughs> Megan. Pookie. Megan. No, Megan, 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 Megan. You okay? Because Mr. Graham Gangrene from the Mean Streets of Cheam asks, why did your statement not address the advice that your communications secretary gave in his email? That being that you should not ask your friends to directly engage with the authors of Finding Freedom so that we could hand on heart say that they had no access just in case we get into difficult territory. Why would I mention that? Oh, she might as well admit to being the second gunman on the grassy knoll. Well, I think the point Mr. Gangreen is trying to make is that the tone of the email exchange between you and your communications secretary implied, well, two things. One, that you were fully aware that your staff were liaising with the authors of Finding Freedom. And two, that the insincere tactics he was suggesting you employ would be something you were completely comfortable with. I mean, how could Mr. Gangreen think that? I mean, my Megan has a heart of gold and morals of steel. I mean, she would never do anything untoward. Yeah, that's right. And besides, what was in the email that was insincere? Well, I think the implication is that by not allowing your friends to communicate directly with the authors, that you, as Brand Sussex, can say hand on heart that you didn't allow any access to the authors, albeit all the time knowing that your communications secretary was allowing access and providing information. Yeah, but except for that, what else? Nothing. Uh, yes, if you take away all that's wrong with it, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Precisely! It's a very simple equation. Immoral behaviour minus sin equals moral behaviour. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of beautiful in its symbolism. Yeah, and the symbols are simple enough for me to understand. They are transparent. Enough for defective brains to sway the masses. Oh, a haiku! Um, how did you get past security? That was the video. If you want to see any more of this mad lot, it might be worth hitting the notification bell and subscribing, liking and sharing the channel. Thanks.